Well, you can immerse yourself in the famous Bellagio Conservatory Garden for afternoon tea. And the Spy Ninjas have taken over Las Vegas with a massive new adventure park. Las Vegas Insiders and the host of Vegas Revealed podcast, Dana Roselli and Sean McAllister, joining us live from Vegas. Hey, guys. Good, Good morning, morning. Shiva. Good morning. So you always have the best stuff. The Bellagio <laughs> Conservatory is spectacular, and now you can have tea there in the garden. This sounds divine. Uh, it really is. I mean, you can have it right there, and it's called the Garden Table, and it's this elevated tea experience right inside the conservatory, like you said. Look at this. First of all, oh. it's beautiful to begin with. This is the spring theme right now, and it goes uh, through May, and you actually get to sit right there. You can see in our video, we actually went and sit at the table, right in this kind of like gazebo-ish, you know, uh, kind of table experience. Yeah, I mean, you get an array of, obviously you see desserts, pastries, their famous scones, an assortment of different teas. I mean, this really is a cool experience. It starts at $63 per person, so it's really not that bad. You do need to make reservations on Bellagio's website. They also offer a dinner by incredible chef Michael yeah. Mina, that starts around $195 per person. But Sheba, I, I, you're dressed for a garden brunch today. Oh, well, thank you guys. And you know, one of my fun facts, I don't drink coffee, I love tea, so this would be perfect for me. Okay, perfect. Right. let's continue on the eating train. We know him as the NFL's all-time leading rusher, but now Emmett Smith has a new restaurant on the Strip. Tell me about it. Yeah, he sure does. It's over at the Fashion Show, which is a mall, but they have a great row of restaurants. It's right across from the Wynn Las Vegas, and we were there for the big uh, saber off there when he when he sabered off the champagne, a ceremonial tribute. He also got a couple proclamations. Really exciting for Emmett. He said he's been coming here since the 90s, and he figured, why not, when someone offered him a deal to open a restaurant here? Yeah, this is a, a steakhouse, but it's very seafood forward with the menu as well, and being right there strip side at fashion show i have a feeling it is going to be packed and by the way they do have a big center bar with a ton of seating and that's my favorite place <laughs> to eat uh when i go to a steakhouse the bartenders are always great <laughs> yes you like the entertainment and the good food well that sounds great and then spy ninjas are huge on youtube so tell me about this new entertainment complex they have now in las vegas yeah, they have like billions of views all the time, right? Like 44 million or billion subscribers across all their channels. They are huge. And now they've opened this big complex called Spy Ninjas HQ. It's just to the west of the Strip. Look at this. There is an indoor zip line, indoor ropes course. There's dodgeball. There's a gift shop. There's a cafe. You name it. Um, and the arcade games are endless. I mean, this is a massive complex. It is 50,000 square feet. Geez, and this is not just a place for kids. This is an entertainment complex that caters to adults as well. I mean, who doesn't want to, you know, <laughs> climb that rock wall and jump like this kid? Are you kidding me? And there's dodgeball. Yeah. And the kids were going crazy on each other in that dodgeball pit. Oh, my gosh. They also have a bar for the over 21 crowd. And they actually have this crane game, Sheba, that the claw goes down, you know, and you usually pick up a stuffed animal mm -hmm. or something, but you can try and fish for mini liquor bottles. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> you know what? You guys always bring the fun. Thank you so much. You got it. All right, guys. You can hear more from Dana and Sean each week on Vegas Revealed. It's available wherever you listen to your podcast.